Oil Food Basics here at the second annual Merida College Oil and Gas Technical Exhibition. I'm here with Matt Turgney of Deepwell Services. Matt, can you please tell us what Deepwell Services specializes in and what SNUMMI is? Yeah, absolutely. So um, our company, Deepwell Services, uh, we're based out of uh, West Texas and the Appalachia region here. Um, we're a workover and uh, hydraulic completion units uh, company. Um, we really specialize in the, in the snubbing side of the of the business. Um, our equipment, uh, we like to team it as a disruptive technology. Uh, we've implemented a lot of uh, unique um, developments, a lot of unique technology, uh, whether it's from a safety perspective, uh, efficiency perspective. Well, we really design um, a, a unit that's a snubbing unit that no one's really designed or created or seen in, in North America. Uh, so we're quite proud of that. Um, what we typically use our, our HCU rigs for are uh, long lateral high pressure uh, wellbore interventions, whether it's um, doing tow preps on long laterals, uh, drill, frack plug drill outs, uh, some remedial work, production work. It, it really, uh, these units are so unique um, that you can use them for, for many different areas of, uh, of the completion and work over and, and um, in part of the industry. So a lot of different in intervention uses. They're very uh, dynamic. All right, so let's take a look how easy it is to snub. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So. Um, Really, the snubbing aspect here, what we've, what we've gone ahead and done is uh, we invested into a, a virtual reality snubbing simulator. Uh, traditionally in the industry, uh, the only way to, to really train folks, and, and especially on snubbing, uh, and since it's being a live wellbore situation, it's quite hazardous. So we've looked at uh, coming out of the downturn, a lot of new folks were coming in, um, and how do we reduce the risk on our company? The, how do we incre increase efficiencies and how do we reduce risk on uh, for our customers and, and one of those things was to start training uh, in-house through a virtual reality platform instead of putting them on a live well and saying all right here you go uh, this is how this slip works this is how this ram functions uh, this is how the process is really happens so we've really taken our employees um, and, and sat them down in that classroom mm -hmm. setting and really walked them through the virtual reality well site and said, this is what you're gonna see out there. This is how this RAM's gonna function. This is how this this slip needs to work for in order for this piece of pipe mm -hmm. to, to move. So um, it's really setting the foundation and, and really giving them a solid platform to kickstart their career. And again, it just having this kind of uh, training for somebody new to the industry mm -hmm. has really set them up for to be safer, more efficient, and, and really uh, we've seen huge dividends. And, bringing this into our training and competency program. Okay, so Matt's gonna introduce us the HCU unit on here on the screen. And then after that, Jonathan Kungle is gonna show us how simple it is to snub. All right, so today in our uh, virtual reality uh, situation that we're gonna put Jonathan in, uh, he's gonna be running in the hole, a slick two and seven eighths work string. Uh, it's a L80. Um, Basically, it's about a it's a it's a really kind of best case Marcellus situation on a production run. It's 1,500 pounds, uh, so so low pressure. We're 24-hour operational company, so we're going to be training Jonathan at night right now in a night setting. Uh, so go ahead, we'll put him in the virtual reality world and uh, see how he does. So we have the ability to uh, break this rig down in X-ray mode, and that's really kind of going to get into the fundamentals uh, of. Uh, you know the processes and and what the components are doing the functionality of the equipment so uh go ahead jonathan and pull back and that's going to manipulate that jack plate so once you get these are on 12 foot strokes so once you get to the top what we're going to do is we're going to uh, close the the slips that are based on that traveling jack and those are the two the two middle slips right there yep so go ahead and close those two as you can see they function uh, but if you look down, the, the, the well is still, the energy of the well is still in by your feet. Uh, all that well is being, all the pressure uh, that's being created through the open perfs is, is applied itself to that cross-sectional area of that drill bit, and it's created thrust or a snub force. So right now, as you can see in your feet, it's red, all that pressure is being held by that slip. Uh, our objective is to get that pipe to move to move down. So what we need to do is transfer the energy to the jack plate slips, the ones that you just functioned. So to do that, go ahead and push forward with your right hand, and that's going to move the jack plate. Perfect. Now at this point, you can open up your other hand here. Yep. Go ahead and open that one, and continue on. Perfect. So as you can see, what basically, uh, if you don't mind, I'll just kind of show you. You were up here, and I had you an X-ray. 
basically all we did was took that jack plate, we moved that pipe down, and we need to repeat this process. So go ahead and close that slip. Yep, we'll open up the two middle ones, and we'll pull back with your left hand. Okay, perfect. Go ahead. Yep, go ahead and push forward. Excellent. So we're just, John is just walking that drill pipe into uh, until we get to that desired depth. And at that point, we, we start drilling plugs. We start rotating. Go ahead and pull the two back. Yep. Yep, you bet, sir. Open up the back. Yep. So we, get, we can do many different settings, uh, situations, high pressure. Uh, we can run different downhole tools, packers. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, bumper sub jars, different fishing BHAs. And right there is perfect. Go ahead and close the two up. Open the last one. Good job. So Jonathan, was that really as simple as it looked? Yeah, after a few times up and down, it was pretty easy to get the hang of, not too hard at all. Awesome. All right, Matt, so what do you think the future of VR is in the oil and gas industry? Well, I think it's a, a lot like anything in the industry right now. Um, technology is really driving a lot of the new innovations, a lot of the new efficiencies and safety uh, components of our industry. Um, so at Deepwell, we basically look at VR as a, as a really... Uh, a great way to train, especially organically, grow our company. Mm -hmm. um, we we use it, uh, and traditionally in the past, before VR came about, you'd have to train our staff on site, yeah. um, and it really put ourselves at risk, put those employees at risk, and put our customers yeah. at risk. Uh, but there really was no other way. So now with the VR technology, we can take these new new employees mm -hmm. uh, or employees that are at a certain level and they want to grow their to comp, mm -hmm. you know, grow their competency and get to the next level maybe yeah. they're a lead hand they want to be an operator mm -hmm. uh, so we've taken our, our virtual reality built it around our competency and training program around it and essentially have set uh, stages within that competency program of saying okay perfect to get to this next level you might need to run a packer or you might need to stage collars and, and connections, mm -hmm. tool joints, that sort of thing uh, at, at 5,000 PSI. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have be able to set up in the virtual reality system those different components and that's really yeah. been nice because just to take somebody and say here's a 5,000 pound well, you're starting to do ram to ram, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's it increases, in, increases uh, or decreases efficiencies and, and really is, puts that whole operation mm -hmm. at risk. But um, it's also great for new people that come in the industry, you know, I was there one day so, you know, Geez, what's what's the wellhead look like? You know, yeah. what's a casing valve? And we can really, through the virtual reality world, take new employees and uh, just right off, you know, um, no industry knowledge whatsoever, mm -hmm. and walk them in the virtual reality okay. world and show them, especially breaking it down in X-ray. Mm -hmm. This is the wellhead. When you get out to our site, you're going to see this is the rig. Here's the components. Here's the functionality of those components, and really create that foundation uh, in a safe, controlled environment. Uh, and that's really what we're trying to get is is uh, grow our competency, grow the grow the our staff, and, and yeah. make sure that new people coming into the street ha have the best foundation. That you know, set them up for success, mm -hmm. and and show them the hazards on location, mm -hmm. things to watch out for, things to stay away from, and really, uh, it's 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 been a huge success for us, and something we're yeah. continuing to invest in. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for your input, and thank you for teaching us more about stubbing and what the EVL services really is and what it's all about. So thank you. Oh, my pleasure.